Clyspace have historically been designers and manufacturers of power systems for spacecraft of different sizes, but mostly really small satellites. So we make solar panels and batteries and electronics. But over the last few years, we have also developed some, some other technologies that enable more advanced space missions, especially very small ones. Pretty much from about 2007 on, I knew that we were going to do our own satellite, and I knew it was going to have to be something that was special to put us on the map globally. Um, and that's what UCube one is. UCube one is a very advanced nano satellite carrying a number of very complex payloads and technologies that we have developed as well in house. We've been involved through Scottish Enterprise with Clyde Space for eight years, and to have the level of accreditation and confidence that they have from defence companies all over the world, commercial companies, some of the governments all over the world. I mean, this is a very, very tough market to get into and their, their customer range is second to none. So they're doing tremendously well and I'm confident that they'll see very significant growth. We're flying six different payloads on this mission. Um, one is from a company in Glasgow called Steepest Ascent. It's an advanced onboard computer for satellites. A topospheric experiment using GPS from the University of Bath. It's a random number generator using radiation particles in space, an advanced communication transmitter, and we also have a, an educational payload from the Amateur Radio Society in the UK, which will enable schools to communicate with the satellite. Well, Clyde Space are a great example of taking Scottish technology, commercialising it and going out there all over the world and applying that excellence to get business. So this will be very encouraging for lots of other uh, companies that are maybe not in the space sector but are great engineering companies that could be thinking about it. Scotland's already had a, a, a big role in the, the space industry. Neil Armstrong was a Scottish descent. Uh, Scotland designed the, the key design for telescopes. That was a Scottish scientist for space telescopes. So we've had a huge role in the technology of space, but this is the first time there's been a Scottish built satellite. And, and now, uh, because of the nanotechnology, I mean, things being very small, this, this means that this small company now can compete cost-wise in getting technology into space. Yeah, it's a small step for Clyde Space and a giant leap for Scottish science.